All right, for this how-to, we're going to uh, tackle stopping the forced update that's come out on DGI Go. Uh, what it's going to allow you to do is going to keep older versions like 4.0.6 um, and basically just stop that stupid freaking update prompt. So um, we're going to use no root firewall. You can still copy your flight logs if you want. Uh, and the 4.0.6, there's a link to the APK. Um, it's uh, in the comments. So are you, are you sick and tired of this message? You must update to the latest version, 4.1.3. You know what? I want to choose when I update. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you to take a piss. Uh, first thing we're going to do is open up Chrome, and we're going to search and look for no root firewall. Uh, you don't need your device to be rooted. Uh, obviously, you got to be on Android. Uh, so go ahead and search for no root firewall. Hit install. Go ahead and hit accept. Uh, basically what this is going to do is going to stop traffic coming in and out of your device, your phone that's running Android, uh, traffic that's programs and things. So basically uh, open that up, uh, click the auto start on boot, go ahead and click start, choose yes. Uh, you'll see under pending requests it'll have a couple apps, go ahead and click allow, allow, and then click the global filters tab on the top. Um, you basically want to just allow any, any apps that come in. Um, go to Global Filters, click the new pre-filter. Uh, in the address, we're going to type in 47.88.66.220.220. For port, put in 443, the SSL port. Uh, up on top where it's got the little Wi-Fi and data thing, go ahead and double click on those, make them red X's. Uh, and then basically that's it for the firewall. We only need one address. There's no pending access requests. So DJI Go can access the internet. Uh, if you go back into the app net, oh, it's not going to work. So go into settings. Then uh, you're going to go into apps. What we're going to do here is we're going to find DJI Go in this list. Open it up by clicking on it or tapping on it. Then there you should see storage. So the top one that says storage, tap on that and then click on clear data. This is going to clear out, uh, hit OK, it's going to clear out any of the downloads, any of the data, any of the prompts, um, so you should be good there. So go ahead and relaunch DGI Go 4, it'll load up, it should ask you to accept the EULA again, go ahead and do that, for some reason it's flipping, uh, so once you've accepted the EULA, you'll get up here, you can change to whatever your device is, you can connect your device at this point. Uh, and then go ahead and click on enter device. Open this up. I don't have my aircraft uh, connected right now, um, but you can see here that the maps are working, um, both the street, or sorry, the, the map as well as the satellite work. Uh, if you go into about, you can see here I'm on 4.0.6. I bypassed that stupid force update. And then if you click on the flight controller SN 11 times, you'll be able to unlock that FCC mod. Um, again, the, uh, the password for that is DGI test CC. Uh, then you can put in different country codes. I'll put in India here, IN. Um, and then go ahead and hit the button there. It'll take effect. I'll go ahead and tap 11 more times so you can see that that, uh, that, that persisted. So it's, it's good to go. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Take care.